The abductors of passengers on the train have released another video where the victims were being flogged by the terrorists. The managing director of the Bank of the Agriculture, Alwan Hassan, was the first to be released after reportedly paying a 100 million naira ransom on April the 7. 75 days after the incident, the terrorists released 11 persons held in captivity. However, on July 9, seven of the victims were later released after reportedly paying 800 million naira ransom. The remaining 43 victims were told to pay 100 million naira to secure the release of their loved ones. In the two-minute video, 50 seconds, or two-minute 50 seconds video, the male victims were crying as they were being flogged by the terrorists. They called on the federal government to pay off the demanded ransom. They also called on the international community and the United Nations to come to their rescue. Meanwhile, one of the terrorists in the video vowed to abduct the president, Mohamed Buhari, and the governor of Kaduna State, Nasser El Rafai, and other prominent Nigerians, and destabilize the country if their demands are not met. Meantime, the presidency has issued a statement on a recent video by terrorists threatening President Mohamed Buhari and flogging kidnapped train passengers. Several passengers were kidnapped by terrorists after an attack on the Abuja Kaduna train a few months ago. On Saturday, the terrorists released a video threatening the president and the Kaduna state governor, Nasir Arafat, and flogging the kidnapped victims. Reacting to the development via a statement on Sunday evening signed by the presidential media aide Garba Shehu, the presidency described the video as propaganda, adding that security agencies were on top of the matter. The presidency said, quote, The president has done all and even more than what is expected of him as commander-in-chief by way of moral, material, and equipment support to the military and expect nothing short of good results in the immediate. End of quote. Meantime, families of kidnapped passengers of the AK-9 Abuja Kaduna train have announced plans to embark on the protests tomorrow in Abuja. They said they can no longer cope with the silence of the federal government and security agencies. Though the exact location of the proposed protests is unknown, they said they would occupy government facilities to drive home their point. According to some family members, the ill treatment of their loved ones and the perceived silence by the relevant authorities necessitated their decision to embark on the protest. They also said the latest video by the terrorists has thrown them into shock. The victims were kidnapped on March the 28th after an attack on the Kaduna bound train. Now, one of the family members, Evelyn Asiribo, whose husband is among the victims, said she and her children are in pain. Also, the coalition of northern groups, CNG, has expressed worry over the plight of kidnapped train passengers and urged the government to rescue them immediately. The CNG fled the latest twist in Nigeria's security situation, which it said has exposed the failure on the part of the government to check growing national threats. The spokesman of the group, Abdulaziz Suleiman, said in the face of the latest development, Nigerians would be right to resort to self-protection because the bandit and insurgent have sensed a huge vacuum in the capacity and political will to challenge them. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.